Say, bro, Derrick Henry brought the Tennessee Titans back in that game. But before we get into this video, everybody go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can receive a notification every single time you post a video. Welcome to Sports R Us. And today we're going to be talking about Derrick Henry, who had a big game today against the Seattle Seahawks. Now I'm going to be honest, I started watching this game in the beginning and the Seahawks were, you know, they were scoring, they were doing what they needed to do. They got, you know, field goals, different things like that. Um, it seemed like Russell Wilson was on today. It seemed like everything was going right for the Seattle Seahawks. So at a point in this game, I kind of cut it off. You know, I, I, I wound up coming back, flicking back through it, started watching a few other games. But I wanted to keep my eye close on Derrick Henry because if you don't know, I am a huge fan of running backs. I love running backs. So, you know, I'm going to start like a Derrick Henry watch just to see how many yards he gets this season. You know, and they have one extra game this season, so maybe he might be able to break that record that everybody's been trying to break for years that uh, Eric Dickinson set back in the early 80s. But Derrick Henry was able to bust out. When it came down to around the second and third quarter, he started to bust out. In this game, he had 35 carries, he had 182 yards, and he had three pivotal touchdowns. One of them, he bust out for 60 yards. The other few, one was on the goal line. Um, and the other one, he actually had to switch. You know, he was going towards the right side of the field. Then he had to go towards the left side of the field. He wound up scoring, so that's how he got the three uh, touchdowns. But this game was pretty much out of reach at one point for Tennessee. You know, um, like I said before, the Seattle Seahawks were doing what they needed to do. They were scoring. There was one play, um, and I can't get the player's name right now, but there was one play. I just don't understand secondaries. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see how a player can be. I don't know how a defender can be 20 yards away from a player. There was a big touchdown that Russell Wilson threw for 68 yards. It was 68-yard touchdown. Um, and I'm thinking I'm getting the dude name wrong. It's uh, Swan. Uh, he threw it to him for 68 yards. Now, there wasn't a defender within, that, with, within the reach of that player within 20 yards. Didn't make any sense. I don't understand the secondaries on a lot of different teams. That was in the fourth quarter. Uh, that was a real big play. That put them up 30 to 16. Now, of course, Derrick Henry came right back during the next drive and scored on a 60-yard touchdown, like I was saying before. Then you had the Seahawks who punted it over. Then they had a turnover on down, which they uh, sacked the quarterback. Then the Seahawks punted the ball. Then that's when Derrick Henry came back with a one-yard score. That was the end of the half. That was actually the end of regulation. It was 30-30 to at that point. Tennessee punted. Seattle punted. And then they got a field goal for 36 yards. And the Tennessee Titans took care of business. But this video really was for Derrick Henry, who had 182 yards on the day with 35 carries and three touchdowns so he had a pretty big game and we're gonna keep on being on Derrick Henry watch throughout the season just to see how many yards he can get by the end of the season you know hopefully he could break that record if not we'll still have some enjoyable games with him rushing and doing what he's doing so everybody go ahead and hit that like button make sure you smash the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you are subscribed so you can receive a notification every single time we post a video make sure you watch all the videos to the end and just give me your thoughts down in the comments letting me know how you feel about the topic that we're speaking on i do these different rant videos all the time as well and we have some additional just small miniature docs where we get dive deep into different topics and things like that that's going to be coming soon as well so just be on the lookout tell a friend who's a sports fan or anybody that you know that likes sports whether it's basketball football whatever they like let them know sports r us is the place that they need to be this has been sports r us i appreciate y'all